Okay, so we've had a really crazy day social media wise because the Daily Mail posted an article about me on Snapchat celebrating 1.5 million followers yesterday and now look at today we're literally about to hit 1.6 in one day <laughs> it's really exciting <laughs> oh, <laughs> one. Come on, four. Guys. how do we like tell more people to follow us really quickly oh yeah oh! <laughs> this is why people follow us this is this. what you've been waiting for <laughs> Okay, you ready? Yeah. What did the clock do when it was hungry? I don't know. It went back four seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Pia's gone to the hairdressers and I'm not sure what she's planning. She's been sending me photos all morning of different girls' hairstyles, so I'm a little bit concerned. So it's time to go check it out. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Don't look at this, it's all real. So Pia's decided to change her hair for New Year's Eve. So what's happening? New Year's Eve? Yeah, just for one day. So what's, what's happening here? Well, we're going dark. And this is actually more like what my hair is naturally like. I thought your hair was, I this. thought this was your natural hair. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna do dark mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna actually put some extensions in it so then I have the option of having short hair or long hair. Smart idea. Yeah. I think I need that option too. <laughs> we can just get you an afro week. <laughs> say that it's black it's like chocolate brown beige dark nearly black is that right it's not beige is it oh she's back <laughs> see you later the vlog was called Diaries of an Instagram Husband. Now it's called Diaries of an Instagram Boyfriend, now presented in cinema 4K widescreen. People have been asking why do we do that? We're not actually married yet. So we thought it'd be nicer to be called Diaries of an Instagram Boyfriend until we get married. And then it will have more impact when we change the title. Yeah, because people kept asking if it were calling him my husband. And we were like, actually, we just thought that was a funny name. <laughs> Onwards, we have our snacks. These are my favourite snacks from the United Kingdom. <laughs> I don't know which ones to start with. I think we should go chocolate lolly, chocolate lolly. Otherwise, you're going to have a sugar overload. Yes. All right, so first one. <laughs> what are these called? These are called flying saucers. <laughs> they look like this. This is for kids, right? Like, yeah. these are like... <laughs> which colour should I go They're for? all the same. Pink. Toxic pink. <laughs> right, ready? So you got okay, well you've gone ahead. You have gotta wait for the instructions. Oh, eating right. eating instructions. <laughs> so, so you don't just 
ad lib it. What I do is I put them on my tongue mm -hmm. and immediately they dissolve and then the sherbet gets released. So just stick it on your tongue and hold it there and then push it against the roof of your mouth. Okay. <laughs> That's really dry. <laughs> <laughs> not that good, is it? That's not dissolving very right, easy. You need to have a bit of spit in your mouth. To start with. <laughs> it's just stuck to the top. Maybe just chew it. It's just stuck to the top of my uh, mouth. Chew it then. Pretty zingy. <laughs> I can't get off the top of my mouth. Another one. No. Oh! <laughs> it's still there. <laughs> no, that's not right. You need a right, toothpick. Uh... <laughs> How did you get it up there? You just told me to push it into well, the I... roof of my mouth. <laughs> oh, and it... now it's attached to Is it still there? It's stuck up there. So that's my that's snack one. I like it. Flying saucers, what's your rating out of ten? Mm. Five and a half. <laughs> this is a solid nine snack. <laughs> what? <laughs> I would literally never buy that. <laughs> well, that's good because it's Friday tomorrow and I'm having all of these in my movie night. <laughs> this is good. basic chocolate. But it's good quality chocolate. It's by a company called Cadbury's. Heard of them? You have? Mm -hmm. These are called Giant Buttons. Oh, I like this already. Yeah. That's just milk chocolate. I like it. Kind of boring though. I'll have a few more of those. Mmm. I like that a lot. They're good if you put them on the roof of your mouth as well. Oh, if you make a mold? A what? <laughs> What's your rating for Cadbury's? Giant buttons. 7.5. 7.5 out of 10. Mm. All right, I'm good. a tough critic. Next, we're going to go to the Wayne's World Classic Strawberry Red Rope Licorice. <laughs> this stuff is like nothing natural on this planet. Mm -hmm. It's just the color red. Mm -hmm. And you just take it like that. Okay. How much? Wait, does that end? Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready for you. <laughs> Are we racing? Racing. I know, I'm just gonna eat it like normally. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, stop! <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> oh, I got your bit. Take it out. It's not very flavoursome, like no. given how red it is, it's pretty bland I feel flavor. like this might be imitation red rope licorice. It doesn't taste like an awful lot. No, same, I agree. Okay. I'm gonna go with, what was the first thing that we had on the sherbet? You know what, I think this is worse than the sherbet. So that's less than five. Four. Four. Oh, These no. are big. Damn, uh, foam bananas. Oh, mm, I don't like cool. that at all. I do not like banana lollies. Why? I don't mean, know. That's the best flavour. I flavor. really dislike banana lollies. I love real bananas. I could eat that forever. I have that one. Ugh. What? One out of ten. One. This if one that, it's lucky to get one. This gets a nine from me. What? I don't like it, they just taste so like way, way too sweet, like nothing like actual bananas. <laughs> if it was meant to taste like fruit, it would just be fruit. I'd rather just eat a banana. And it's not a lolly, is it? <clears throat> fruit are earth lollies. <laughs> chocolate orange is made by a company called Terry's and somehow they managed to make chocolate taste like orange. I do like the effort that they go like into their presentation. That's pretty nice. I like that it looks like you're going to eat a piece of fruit. Well, just you wait. Funny you should say that. It's impressive. It looks like a pumpkin, you open it, really. You open it. Open it close to the camera because this is going to be. This is a special. This is special. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello. What do I do now? Well, you take a slice of the orange. Wow, look at that. Chocolate, I like This it. smells like orange? It does. Mm. I've had this before. It smells like a Jaffa cake. Yeah, it does. But it doesn't have any of the Jaffery goodness. 
I mean, I like chocolate. I just like chocolate hands down. This is not one that I would buy or right. like choose, but I still prefer it to the lollies. That goes like a six for me. I would eat it if it was there, but mm. I wouldn't go out and buy it. Mm, same. Either way. These are called refreshers. They are original lemon flavor chew with a refreshing center. The refreshing center is quite surprising. It's good. Oh wow, that's like really gritty in the middle. Plus the sherbet. Yeah, I understand that. Mm. Good, hey? Yeah, it's quite refreshing. It's like, it kind of tastes like a lemonade popsicle. Yes. Doesn't it? Mm. I love it. Mm. Mark out of for the profession? Seven. Just a seven. <laughs> Doesn't it like a lolly lolly person? <laughs> Alright, seven. Seven. I used to like them when I was a kid. I don't know why I don't like them now. Mm. It's just okay. Mm. I mean... I like those. They're, they're an eight and a half. Eight and a half for me. Wow. If you've watched Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, you will know about Turkish Delight. <laughs> I think most people know about Turkish Delight, even if they don't watch Narnia. <laughs> what do you mean? Why would you only know about Turkish Delight if you watch Narnia? Well, I thought this was the official snack of the Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. Isn't this just a, like, Willy Wonka chocolate? This is the snack from the movie. No, this has been something that people, m people have made for centuries. I don't think she knows what she's talking about. Yeah, Turkish Delights are like a traditional treat, right? And they're normally wrapped in like, they just have like powder, like icing sugar or something. No, like. this is what that little kid eats in Lion, Witch and the Wardrobe <laughs> and she loves them and that's why, I don't know, I forgot the story. All right, well, let's try it. Because normally, I mean, I have not tried these in years and years and years because Same. I knew I didn't like them. So I just never, ever, ever go for it. Did you not like them or did you not like Narnia? I love Narnia. I'm a big Chronicles of Narnia fan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not what I remember. <laughs> that's like jam. It just tastes like soap. That is gross. I um, know. Right, my hat's wonky. I'm so annoyed. I washed my hat in the washing machine, and this is now how it sits on my head. <laughs> like wonky as. I do this all the time. And it, look, it just defaulted back to there, and by in about 20 minutes time, it's going to be sitting like this. <laughs> He's not doing that to try and be hip. <laughs> no. If there are any hat companies out there, I'm willing to be sponsored. <laughs> You've got to choose. One's orange and one's cherry. Orange and cherry? Cherry. I'm, all, yeah. I'm cherry. Okay, now you got to dip it into the sherbet, and you'll pick some up with your own saliva. It's a very hygienic snack. <laughs> are you then going to try some no, too? No, this is all yours. <laughs> All right, that's your cherry. Now you've got to go orange. So mm. The cherry is actually really good. Dip in the orange, this one. It's just such an annoying snack, though, isn't it? I can yeah. see how kids would like it, but can you imagine trying to like? You couldn't eat it in a hurry. An adult would eat this. Us. <laughs> this is my favourite one. I'm really curious as to how Pia views this. It will affect the future of our relationship. <laughs> Monster Munch. These are incredible corn-based chips, I think. So you like these, right? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, they're enormous. What and are these things? What's the hands? Are they hands? Look at what these things look like. They're like really fat. Try it, try it quickly. Oh my god. Mm, mm, mm. They are the most intense flavor. It's onion flavor. Onion flavor? <laughs> Aren't you about to go somewhere? Yeah. You know, I quite like them. They're so good. I didn't... I didn't expect that. What's your rating? Um... Eight. I give it a ten. I like it. That ends our Australian German girl eating English snacks 
YouTube video. <laughs> Yesterday I completely forgot to announce the winner for my drone giveaway. It's really difficult to do a giveaway on YouTube when you're doing the announcement because people miss it if it's in the video. So I'm going to ask you all to click on this here. That's my Instagram. Go click there, hit follow, and I will put the winner there because it will be permanent. Otherwise, people keep emailing me saying, hey, where was the giveaway? Like with Piers Last Dress giveaway. We did the giveaway, and the person that won missed it because it's a few videos back now. And as a result, she hasn't claimed the prize. So now we're going to have to do the giveaway again. So make sure you go follow me on Instagram to find out if you won the drone.